In this video, uh, we will cover uh, replacing the Hero HD model with this Amanda Frost uh, character off the Asset Store, uh, which is a free character uh, by this publisher. Uh, so I've opened Demo Scene 3 and disabled the demo object. Drag my Hero HD weapons into the scene. I changed uh, the Hero HD to uh, 114, 104.1, negative 87, and I made the rotation 0, 142, and 0. After you've imported the Amanda Frost model, um, you will go to uh, this um, Amanda folder, so it's Amanda, Amanda, and then this model. And you're going to want to change the scale factor to a 0. 0.95. Then you would drag the model onto the Hero HD weapons. Uh, that'll make it a child and it will also um, set it to the zero, um, zero transform position, zero, zero, zero. Um, I actually went through here and I disabled uh, the foot base this uh, leg pole, uh, the right one, and this root item. Um, you could delete those um, or just uh, disable them. And under the head bone, I am actually going to uh, disable the goggles. So the goggles item right here. I'm going to go ahead and disable that. And then on the mesh, uh, this material, I'm going to change it to this Amanda material. So I'm going to disable the body for now. Uh, you're going to want to create your ragdoll, so you select your model, uh, game object, 3D object, ragdoll. And uh, there, then we're going to assign the bones. So hip, you're going to go through all these. I'll pause it. Uh, so I've assigned all the appropriate uh, bone items. I'm going to hit create. It's going to create my ragdoll. Uh, so under UFPS base content art body, you're going to find this animators folder. So you're going to want to take this UFPS example animator, assign it to your animator. Turn off, apply root motion. We're going to add the scripts, the VP, FP, body animator. We're going to assign this head bone. And we're going to assign the lowest spine bone. Under, uh, you grab these uh, materials. We're going to add this invisible shadow caster. Next, you're going to want to add the scripts for the VP Ragdoll Handler. And we're going to assign the head bone. Uh, then the next thing what you would normally do is under the head bone, you're going to change the scale to 0, 0, 0. So the head is disappeared. And you're going to want to do the same thing under uh, the left arm and the right arm. So you're going to want to change the scale to 0, 0, 0. So that when you hit play, uh, the arms are out of the way. And they aren't blocking your view. But the problem is, is when you go into third person, you don't have a head or an arms. Uh, so that would be it for quick prototyping, but what I'm going to go ahead and use is I'm going to use this FPS mesh tool by Code Bison Games. Uh, so I'm going to set my arms back to full scale, and I am going to set the head bone uh, back to one by one by one. Uh, so I'm going to open up the so I'm going to go window FPS mesh tool. I'm going to go ahead and assign this Amanda model. 
I'm going to click on this uh, create preview and you'll see that it already found my head, uh, left arm and right arm. If these aren't here for your model you're going to want to assign these. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the preview and I'm going to actually I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, build FPS mesh. Now I'll remove the preview and then under this FPS mesh tool I'm going to drag this new model onto my uh, Hero HD weapons. And if I turn this one off, you will see now, uh, let me go ahead and reset the transform to make sure it's a zeroed out position and the rotation are zeroed out for this model. Uh, you're going to see that we have uh, three new materials. So when I hit play, If I switch over here to the scene view, you'll see the head and the arms have been assigned the invisible shadow caster. So I'm going to go ahead and re-enable the body. And then I'm going to expand this FPS um, camera. And under rendering, this third person, the pistol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these weapons. I'm just going to copy them and then I am going to paste them uh, on the right hand right under here under right wrist and then go ahead and hit paste you're going to want to make sure it's a child so you drag it on as a child and I'm going to go ahead and reset the position and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, quickly just put this at zero three negative 0 0.01 and negative 0 0.01 for the rotation I'm putting this as negative 1.6 uh, 16.5 and 0 and that, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to assign all of these uh, first on this uh, one pistol I'm going to turn this uh, third person weapon aim script off and so for each of the rendering items to this pistol one you're going to want to go ahead and assign all of these so that when you are in a third person mode uh, the weapon will actually be visible so I've gone through and I've assigned all the third person weapons I'm going to go ahead and delete the hero body that came with it I'm going to rename this I'm just going to call it Amanda Frost. Um, so under the prefabs folder, I'm going to drag this as a prefab. And then if we want to test it out, we turn off this VP player inventory and we hit play. So if we hit the letter V, we'll see that she has a weapon in hand. So she'll cycle through the weapons, but if we're in this mode, we don't see her arms, and we still see in the shadow, we've got her arms and her head in the shadows.